park rangers assaulted. It's happened twice in just the past couple of months in our area. They say guns, gang activity, drugs are also dangers they face daily in our Michigan State Parks. It's also the topic of our poll question tonight. Do you worry about crime at our state parks? Go to WXYZ.com slash vote to weigh in. And tonight, a former park ranger is speaking out about what they're facing. Seven investigator Heather Catalo is live on Belle Isle, the nation's busiest state park, with what she has uncovered. Heather. Well, attendance at our state parks is skyrocketing thanks in large part to the Pure Michigan campaign. But the men and women responsible for keeping us safe here at the state parks say they're being put at risk every day. The perfect summer has a voice. From the perfect summer to a summer nightmare. We can't do nothing right now, man. State parks officers, also known as rangers, tell the seven investigators that unruly crowds like this are becoming more common at state parks. They've been confiscating guns, drugs, and in just the last month, two rangers have been assaulted by park visitors on Belle Isle and at Dodge Four State Park in Waterford. That's all we can do. This video shows the chaos before a 300 plus person fight at Grand Haven State Park last year on July 3rd. Yeah, right now we're vastly outnumbered and they, they're not afraid to turn on us. Rangers say there were only two of them scheduled to work on the day this video was taken. This ramped up from years of not having the proper law enforcement on that beach. Eric Bailey worked as a state park ranger for 14 years and now works with the union representing Michigan's rangers. He says right now their safety is at risk because they don't have the equipment or the staffing levels they need. If an officer loses his life or God forbid someone from the public loses their life because of this issue, I, I just can't stomach it. Bailey says rangers are only allowed to carry pepper spray and batons, even though many park patrons are armed. At some parks, gang activity has been documented. We've had rangers held at gunpoint. We've had knives pulled on them physical assault, assaults regularly documented. Under state law, the Department of Natural Resources has two kinds of officers, highly trained conservation officers and the park rangers, peace officers who can make arrests if they witness a crime on state parkland. The rangers want to become fully commissioned law enforcement officers. The perfect summer is pure Michigan. Thanks to the Pure Michigan ad campaign and the less expensive recreation passport, visitors entering the parks jumped from 16.7 million in 2008 to 27.6 million in 2017. But the number of rangers has stayed the same, only 320 to staff all of the state parks. Visits are up 65 percent since 2008. Incidents are down 45 percent. Department of Natural Resources spokesman Ed Golder says they take worker safety very seriously. The idea that state parks are, are dangerous places, which I think is an irresponsible uh, thing to talk about because it's just not true. But the seven investigators obtained DNR documents that caution rangers not to over record incidents in the parks. So how accurate are the DNR's numbers? I think the staffing are dedicated and great, but I think in these major state parks it's unsafe. I don't bring my kids to state parks, and I work there. DNR officials say the conservation officers who do have guns are brought in to help at parks where they need that extra law enforcement presence. Meanwhile, the Rangers Union has filed a complaint with MIOSHA to investigate all of this. Reporting live at Belle Isle, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.